Hey, sixth graders, Mr. Brandon here with, as promised, an emergency using Google Sheets as a crypto checker video. This is a video. Oh, video. So let's uh, let's get started. The first thing we need is numbers. So let me come to my crypto generator. I'm going to push the button, and there are my five numbers. So looking at the numbers, I noticed several things really quickly. One of my notice. If I can make everything a three, all I have to do is add three to 24. So that might be an idea. But I also notice um, two times 13 is 26. So then I wonder really quickly if I can make these three numbers into a two. And I see that I can pretty easily because I know 21 minus 16 is five and 10 divided by five is two. So I got two times 13 and divided by or plus that two that I just made there. So now let's get to the fun, super fun part. Go ahead and open up your spreadsheet. See what I did there? It's funny, huh? So uh, open up your spreadsheet, make a spreadsheet, click on that, Google Sheets, brand new one, just like we've been doing. Um, and you don't have to do this part, but I like it because it's fun for me. Uh, I don't get out much. So yeah, make the box really big. And um, we talked about this in class. Let me get my picture out of there. Uh, some things I'm gonna work big because I want you to notice some of the differences. Uh, let's make it purple so you'll like it better. Um, I'm gonna do some formatting things just so when I write something in here, it's gonna be different. So let me move me over here. Um, I'll just put in a letter in there. You can see, oh, it didn't stick. Let me see if I can change this to 100. Yeah, so that'll work. Um, did it? Okay, so I don't want an R in there. Uh, I want the answer. I'm gonna use this to check my answer that I just did for this problem here using, whoops, not using those numbers, using these numbers from my crypto. Um, so 24, I'm going to use those numbers just like when I, I said, I'm going to do the two times, uh, 13. So, uh, something really amazing is going to happen here when I click on there, watch this. Are you ready? I put an equal sign there and the whole thing disappeared. Watch, I'm going to do it again. This is the coolest thing. So I'm going to put an equal sign and remember I made it all giant and purple and everything like that. Well, now this is a working cell. So you can see that when I put that equal sign up here in the formula bar, uh, also it came too. So just like I said, let's do 13. And remember on a spreadsheet, times is an asterisk. It's a snowflake times two. I'm not putting in any spaces. Um, and then I'm going to make the other side minus 10. And I'm using a slash for division. I hope you can see that it's little, but it's going to be big in a second. When I'm happy, you'll see why I like to make everything so big. Um, and I don't want to do 10 divided by. Remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So that's why I'm going to put in parentheses 21 minus the 16. And I got to close that parentheses. Did I use all five numbers? One, two, three, four, five. And um, so I'm done. And watch what happens when I hit enter. The number 24 comes up. That means that I did it correctly, and that's the answer for that equation. You can see when I click back on it, up in the formula bar, it all came back. So that's how you can use Google Sheets, uh, this spreadsheet, to check your um, crypto answers. I hope you get it right. I hope you love this. So I'll talk to you tomorrow.